outer orange. All right, fam. Today we are we haven't done a Yoinkin twist in who knows how long. We have done one against Chris and we've done one against Curly. And today we're doing one against Curly again. So how does the yoinking and twisting work? You may ask. You may be asking yourself, why in the world am I yoinking and twisting? Why am I yoinking and twisting to begin with? But it's okay, guys. I got the answers for you. We're going to yoink this this video right here we're yoinking it and we're twisting it we're making it into our own content i was originally going to do deer days today and then i said no because curly asked me to yoink and twist his content he personally asked for me to twist and yoink the content i'm going to read exactly what curly sent me because i i just think it's funny to just read it in his words i made a new tier list that i think you could yoink and twist and make a good video on basically ranking how difficult and easy a deck is to play versus how much you get out of the deck for its difficulty hopefully that makes sense in parentheses yeah today we're robbing we are robbing content for our own content it's great it's legendary it's beautiful you love to see it so here we have pretty much all the decks that without pretty much like uh, i don't know all the d decks we're doing d so i didn't even know what what format this was i really should know because curly only plays d but you know what we learn something new every day the way this works is this is how difficult it is versus neutral to how easy it is and then based off how difficult easy it is what is the return of it so if it's super difficult but the return value is high then it would be here but if it's super difficult and the return value is low then you'd probably put it here and then same for how easy it is a good example is zorga zorga is pretty high uh, pretty difficult with low returns so that's probably where that goes but we'll figure it out we'll figure it out and then we'll actually come compare it to Curly's chart and see how he ended on his and see like how how stupid he is. That's what we're going to find out. We're just going to find out if if the difficulty is too much for him for some decks or not. And yeah, let's let's go ahead and do it. Started with Zorga. Zorga is definitely difficult with very low return. I think I think Zorga is one of the hardest decks to master and properly play without making any mistakes currently in D. There might be something that might beat this, but I actually think this deck is very high. But the return is super low. Uh, actually, does it, does it, does it, yeah, so I assume, yeah, low return. I think the return is like kind of here. Big agree. Uh, the return is like maybe here. The, the performing prison dragons are actually pretty okay. I think, I think it's like, I think it's like here. I think that's a good spot. I don't think the, the amount of work you have to do is worth it for, and I feel like you just don't get much in return. You'll just deck yourself out if anything. Jet. So Jet is a toolbox deck, and I do think that the toolboxness behind it is actually kind of semi-difficult, but I think the return is like insanely good. Like even though it, it's a little difficult, it's nothing insane, but your return value is five attacks and no sorry five five drive checks and toolboxing out a bunch of draw and properly grade two gaming and all that stuff and you get a lot of value out of it by just winning the game so uh i think i think this is a high return with a semi-medium cost like cost factor on difficulty this is the highlander deck i'm gonna assume that this is difficult with because uh, i haven't played it actually but difficult with a semi-decent return we'll put it like in the middle right maybe we'll put maybe we'll put it right here right in the center of this the, this little box thing let me just let me just look let me just let's go on adventure to bushiro.com bushiro event spring fest i believe spring fest is the one that she's in let's see here oh this is, oh, this is last year whoops wrong year we're not in 2022. We're past that point. We're in 2023, baby. Let's go. Anyway, so it says at the end of battle, you see attacked, counter blast, reveal top seven cards in the deck. If all the reveal cards are not named, have different cards. Okay, so this is a strictly one of deck. So pretty much the way this deck works is because for these for you guys that don't know, so she's a little difficult to play. You know, you do have to run one of which means you have to remember every like a good portion of your deck and all that kind of stuff. So because of that, it's not like super difficult, but it's like it's it's pretty decently hard you know you have to play highlander and then the return is like decent you can pretty much restand your vanguard like three times if you really wanted to but you know you do you we have messiah uh we haven't played messiah so i'm just gonna put him right here in the neutral area yeah this is the order bat uh so pretty much top five i'll put put all orders in your order zone instantly and you activate all their skills for free which is pretty bonkers actually you can do some crazy stuff in the key restands rear guards restand you can do some funny stuff with it however you can actually misplay really easily with him is something i found out that's why his difficulty is like a little bit just just a little bit and the other one's some really weird stuff to kind of make him work so i think i think the the return is probably here maybe the return isn't terrible you do get to restand your vanguard but you have to do so much you have to have five different orders five different ones in your order zone in order to even restand him uh but you i think for three you restand a rear guard so it's like okay but i feel like you're doing a lot of a lot of stuff i feel it's below the difficulty line high return side until we get more uh, up the high so so you're saying it's like here maybe 
Maybe, maybe here. I guess this is a good spot. Y'all can tell me if that's a terrible spot or not. Uh, you guys, what the hell is this? Oh, this is the uh, the 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 dark states, the doo doo, ten k crit, no persona guy. It is indeed not that, and I am just stupid. But I continue to think it was the wrong card until I found out later I was wrong. Yay! So I'm gonna say it's right here. Yeah, this is this this is the guy that says you can't persona ride essentially off of him. Like you can only have one copy of him. So you pretty much don't persona ride, except if you're on Chalice. Chalice does go around it. And then pretty much he just keeps attacking for big numbers. So I think he's like here somewhere. What is that? I would, oh, is that the other guy? Is this the Soul Blast 5 guy? Soul Blast the grade zero specific. Alter, slaughter. It's it's a different slaughter fest. You can slaughter and then you can slaughter differently. That's what this card says. All right. Yeah, this is the guy that says Soul Blast 4 grade zero, Soul Charge 5. I can't read that. So char so what six grade zeros? So char so charge six, choose six of you using a 10k. Ow! That sounds so not worth it. It sounds fun though. It does sound fun. Exact opposite? Yeah, I think it's like I think it's like right here. <laughs> um, because you just soul charge for days and then you go, haha. Yeah, 10k power to my whole board. I don't know how tough Gibba is um, in terms of playing ability. Uh, attacks with back row, I assume the difficulty is like okay. And then the return is like decent. So I think I think he's probably like maybe here because this deck is really just either my opponent or a deck out. I mean, that makes sense. Well, he gets to enjoy his life over here. He will have a good time on that end of the spectrum. Snake is mid and decent return. Yeah, I think I think uh, so. I think difficulty wise, he's like not too difficult because it really is just ride the vanguard and then your back row attacks for whatever the condition is. So I feel like it's not too hard to play. I think uh, the return is OK because it is like a semi good deck. You are multi attacking quite a bit. I don't know if it's better than the wolf. I don't know if it's better than daddy wolf. Daddy wolf is pretty. Daddy wolf pretty good. I think maybe maybe like that. Maybe he can be friends with daddy wolf. You want to join daddy wolf sneaky boy? There you go. You guys can be uh, best friends. Monster with furry. It's just a normal life. Uh, would you have blah? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Crap in all regards. Yeah, it's definitely, definitely do do. Now how difficult it is. Because my, you know, the return I think is here. Uh, probably somewhere here. I just don't know difficulty wise. I'm assuming it's like neutral. It can, it can chill with the, with the, with the other guy. There, they can be friends. You think he's reasonably hard? Okay, he's harder than than soul charging. And that that that's fair. He can go he can go right there. I think this is Graham Grace, right? Which one is Fefnir? Oh god. What are these cards? Did I confuse did I confuse the wrong card with the wrong card? I think that's exactly what I did. What the hell is what 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 what, what, what is this then? Okay, so this is this guy. What the heck is a bar put put up? What are these what are these cards? Oh what the hell? The hell is even that? When this unit attacks a vanguard, put two grade three rearguards into your soul draw card. This unit gets 10k power to have a turn for every three grade threes in your soul. This unit gets all the following according to number of grade threes in your soul. All of your grade three units get 5k shield and boost. For the battle, this unit attacked when your opponent would call. Oh god, this is this is some it's okay. I mean, if you have six, you get the three card guard restrict on that attack. With a mini flag break over here, but you have to run so many grade three. Oh my goodness. He's the other promo guy. Okay, probably on par with Fefnir, but high, the return value is like here. So there, they can um they can mirror each other. They're 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 mirroring each other. You know, like if you were to you know cut this in half and flip it over, they'd be they'd be on the other side or something. Like that. I don't know. Archite, Archite is really interesting because it's actually a deck I play enough to where I can actually give some really good feedback. So I would say the deck has a lot going on. There's a lot of moving pieces, but it's not difficult. It's not difficult though. So I'm thinking it, it's like difficult because you can make a mistake pretty easily. Like you can miss effects pretty quickly. For example, just resting the, the order zone, just forgetting to rest the order zone and then um, like missing that step kick just it doesn't it will cost you the game, but it's just like a little mistake that can make it just harder for you to get monsters in your monster zone. So I think it's like semi difficult, but uh, the return is definitely good i think this deck has is probably here it's not like chrono jet material but what it does it does really well i actually think it's a little less difficult i think it's here you also have a lot of early game decisions you do have a lot of early game decisions which is why actually yeah, i think i'll keep it i'll keep it here on the difficulty scale uh your early game decisions do differentiate and do kind of impact how you're going to play into the late game because it does matter what you pick up minerva 
I think Minerva is rather easy to play and the return is decent. I would say the return's probably like on par with Wolf Boy, with, with Daddy Wolf over here. Should be on par? On par, okay. On par, okay, they're just gonna become really good friends here. It's it's the, the two monsters and, and the blonde, let's go. They can just uh, have a great time in that little bubble right there. I know, it is Beauty and the Beast. Oh my God, you're so right. Holy crap, it's the Beauty and the Beasts. <laughs> Mouse Storm, uh, my opinion, is a little, it's not crazy, it's, it's a little difficult, and the return is decent. Kind of, you do have like a bit of setup you have to do, so you know, you have to kind of think about your turn a little bit, so I'd say it's here, but the return for all the work that you're doing just isn't as good as his son, so I, I think, I think he'll stay right here. I think that's a good spot for Dadberg. And then next we have Lukier. Lukier is not very difficult, at least the D version in my eyes. I actually think it's pretty easy, and I think the return's okay. Uh, the, re the return's like very, very, it's kind of on the same level. I think these decks are actually very similar in terms of power level. It really comes down to, did you see Persona and is there a rising dragon in your soul? Because that's really all you do. Once you have that setup going, you kind of just rinse and repeat and maybe sometimes you'll call a different booster. Next we have Graham Grace, the only PR that I apparently know what, it, what it's named and looks like. I have no idea, y'all tell me, where, where, where is this, where does Graham Grace belong? This is the... Catter Sanctuary back row attacking thingy bobber. I don't know, something along those lines. Eh? Is it we'll start we'll start with the first question. Is it difficult? Where where on the where uh, up or down? How how far up, how far down are we going? You called Fave. Ram. He's easy? Not difficult. Okay, so he's on the easier side. Is this is this easy enough or is or is he like really easy? Find persona and PRs and do the thing, got it? Okay, so Prime Fiona's a, okay, so kind of on the easier side. Okay, so he's easy. Now, how, what's the return? Is the return worth all the effort of it being easy? I return, I think. Actually, do you say return? I'm assuming it's probably going to go more on this side. Because uh, I've actually been seeing some people play it a lot recently, and they've been like, how to pop it off with the promo. But it's with the promo. I don't think without the promo it does as much. Average return, you think? Okay, average. Average return, semi-easy. It's on, it's on the line. The Blouse. I actually haven't tested this guy yet either. I hear he's pretty good. I don't think he, to me, he doesn't seem too difficult. It's just a restating, it's another restating Vanguard. And I don't think the requirements for setup is too difficult. So I'm, I'm assuming he's going to be like here. And I think the return is probably going to be a little better than like Luke here. So he might be like right here. He funny. I think he's probably right here. He's not bad at all. That's what I thought. I thought I, the, I read him and I think I watched like some gameplay online. Uh, like oh the JP folks playing and I, he looked he looked pretty good I think he's like he's probably here he's a restating Vanguard but I think he can join the Minerva the Beauty and the Beast and Mech squad over here is that is that a good spot rearing for your, my deck to be judged oh <laughs> judgment this is one heck of a fun, of a fanfic <laughs> yeah I know this fanfic keeps growing man I'm gonna write I'm gonna tell a whole story about about Ginma Wolf Boy and Minerva the the, the truest of truest love stories. All right, next we have Brucey boy, uh, other daddy. All right, daddy, 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 where do you belong? Bruce is, I think, not very, I think it's very average in terms of difficulty. And I think it's decent return. I would say the return's probably like on par. I know we're kind of creating a row here, but honestly, this row is like pretty justified. You see, you got you're your pitchfork. Oh no, oh no. Oh, this is the other Bruce. I actually don't know about this Bruce. This is the new one. Do we have the other Bruce on here? Or is it just all Bruce's? All Bruce in one? Oh, the other Bruce is there. So this is the other Bruce. Never mind. I'm assuming difficulty wise it's the same way and the return is probably worse. So I think right there. Um, I think I think I think probably there. I don't know too much about him actually, so I'm gonna I'm gonna say he's there. Uh the only downside I see that you need Diablos units, which means you have to run full Diablos units, but then you just kinda do your thing, right? Um I think the return's probably decent, but uh, yeah, I, th I think he can. I think he can also join. I think he's on the same. On the same. I, I don't know. He's not that difficult, and the return is pretty decent. Doesn't he like restand stuff too? So I don't even know how to say his name. Where's Curly? Deal balls. Bye. Oh man. Nitz. <laughs> Bruce. <laughs> this is stupid. Deal balls. Hey yo, who man's is this? <laughs> Bruce. <laughs> I love you so much. Uh, okay, enough about the precision. I need help with the deck build. Oh, this one's good too. I like this one. Diabolos. Uh, uh, here are some lists from week one in Japan for set nine. 
other than that uh you can go check out mellow and matt or uh trans Fem vanguard they've been testing out the deck a lot and they know a lot better about it than i do i uh i barely know how to play great bruce <laughs> that's so good i love the transition oh my god it gets me i think i think the the payoff is definitely there i mean there is a, a chance that i always personally i think that there will be a future where they create this one card that says if your brain guard is bruce and it's in final burst when you restand your column restand this as well and it's probably just gonna be on the on you know on the other side just waiting to be restood when the other side gets restood it'll be five attacking bruce again you know just just normal bruce it would just be bruce but via menace instead so there you go that's my uh that's my that's my ted talk for bruce i like to doubt that i mean it's gonna happen i mean why wouldn't it because right now it's just a four attacking deck with a different condition so i think eventually it'll be a five attacking deck with this with that different condition but final rush one turn faster it is but i mean they could do like a, a cost on it or something i don't know they, they'll figure it out that that's bushy problems that's not me problems unica i have no clue i'm gonna put it in the center i have no idea i don't really know where unica is or what her life is like i don't i haven't really tried any of those set nine cards uh, i don't this sounds semi hard to play i don't know it sounds here payoff sounds here uh, that, that i'm just gonna randomly off a whim put it put it right there pretty low return a little challenging low return a little challenging got it there all right meet you meet you i do know because i play this deck i like this deck difficulty is not very difficult and return is pretty decent Nah, it, it yeah, we'll just just enjoy Minerva. Meet you. You can you can have fun. Okay, Lithia, low return, difficulty decent. I think I think Lithia goes here. Leticia is easy with pretty good return. I would say she's like here. So I think it's a it's really good return. I actually think it's a little better. I think it's like right there. I think it's pretty easy return. It's a restating Vanguard. You know, just a bunch of fun stuff, and all you have to do is just guard its soul charge and do more of that and get bright girl and you know all that kind of fun stuff bunny girl bunny girl kind of difficult to play return is decent i think she's on par oh well she's not that difficult i think she's on par with the highlander chick and then medel medel is definitely difficult to play with a kind of mid return i think i think she's like right there stacking a bunch of stuff you kind of you don't need to actually i'd say the difficulty is probably here you don't need to memorize your stack like that often as far as like other ott decks i think i think it's a little less difficult and i think the return just mid it's not like the worst but it's not the best and then kiyoka kiyoka difficulty wise is probably harder because you have to really know all your pieces in your deck Payoff is decent. You do get five attacks. Uh, I just don't think it's that great right now. It, it's okay. The deck, the deck has its moments where it just like pops up on ride and you kind of just go swing, swing, Vanguard, swing, swing, swing. Very Brucey. You know, it has like a five attack Bruce pretty much on it. And you know, you're re it, it gets pretty obnoxious. But uh, the downside is your resources run out really fast and you really need to know your, your ratios uh, because you're constantly declaring between one to three. And because you're doing that, you're constantly picking up cards. You don't want to whiff that condition. You want to hit it as much as possible. And then also your early setup with the orders is actually pretty like you have to really think it through velstra honestly i'm not gonna lie velstra confuses the absolute crap out of me i like every time i face this deck they're like i product and operate a product and operate minus 5k or minus whatever it is product and upgrade and and i just i don't know what they're doing like turn two they're just doing stuff uh, they they could be like putting four ot's in their deck and i wouldn't even think twice about it like i have no idea what they're doing but um i don't think it's like super difficult and i think the return is pretty decent right now uh, obviously with the new stuff it's going to get a lot stronger and i'm assuming with set nine in mind it's probably gonna be a little bit further to the right uh, but my current knowledge of how the deck is right now the return is actually probably like here uh and difficult the, the return for, for for set eight it's like there and i think for set nine it'll go like 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 really really far like it'll probably be like here somewhere because the back row popping that it does now is actually really good set eight that is accurate uh, i think set eight it can be right here though Drajeweled. Difficult wise, probably on the same as Medell. There is some setup. Uh, return, it kind of depends on if you're going first or second. I think I'm going to put it like on par with the with all these guys. Your return is good. If you go first, you pop off like crazy. But setup is like semi, semi uh, kind of, you know, you have to think about it. You do need, you know, your special grades and all that kind of stuff. The new promo does really pop off with it. So Leonorn. Oh, Matt's going to hate me. Matt's, Matt's just going to find this thing at some point in his life and he's gonna be like didn't i tell you this deck is good 
I don't know, man. I've actually been playing it and playing against it, and it still feels semi mid. Like the restating stuff's cool and all, but I don't know. It just it just doesn't seem that great. Yeah, I heard about the Dragon Tree stuff. I don't know. I I say no guard to this deck, and they triple drive, and I just don't really care. And then and then it's my turn, and and then they just die. Like I don't know. It doesn't it doesn't seem that terrible. I think difficulty wise, this isn't too difficult. I think the return is probably maybe like maybe like right here. Uh, other Nirvana on hit weird. I take two cards and combine them and do this weird stuff, and then I have a new card that comes out. Uh, guy, he is. I actually think this this deck is pretty difficult to play, and I think the return is very normal. So I'm gonna put him right right here. You actually do need to set up correctly. Uh, I actually think he might be even a little bit more difficult. Um, I, from what I, I'm not a Dragon Empire player. Yes, uh, yes, I think it's very, I think it's actually very hard to play this deck. I'm actually going to play it a little higher. So this deck, you have to constantly think about your setup all the time. And if you don't think about your setup, you kind of screw yourself. And then you don't have like, you want to set up for two of the restanding or whatever the hell they do uh, on hit guys. Um, and if you don't set up for them, it, you really screw yourself on pressure and you really want to set up for them. So you constantly want to look for those pieces and it gets pretty hard to play. Uh, the setup isn't, is okay payoff. I think I think right there. It's 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 a little below average, just, just a little bit. Youthberg. I think Youthberg is insanely easy to play, and the and the high and the return is like here, um, maybe even here. Um, there is like a little bit of work I guess you have to do to kind of think about your life, but I don't know. I think this is a super easy deck to play. It really is just ha ha. Do I tempest or do I gust? Do I call Sequana? Do I not? Do I decide to discard and dig deeper or do I not? It's like it's not very hard decisions. Base boy is uh, a little bit of setup. There's some minor setup you have to do. Not, nothing. I think it's more average on on the difficulty wise. And then the return is like kind of low, but it's not terrible. So I think yeah, I think he belongs here. Oh boy, I I don't know what any of these these decks do. Uh, you can go with Messiah. You can go with Messiah. You can go with Messiah. Uh, you. I do know what you do. I think this is no. Is this Yo? Yeah, this is Yo. Yo is easy to play, pretty decent return. I would say Yo is like right here in terms of return. Um, because it's just, because it's so, I don't think it's hard to play at all. You just call your bunch of rear guards, you have constant big numbers. I think it's really hard to misplay. I, I don't know, I don't know how this, this topped at some point. I, I'm still in, I'm still shook that that happened. Speaking of, another easy deck of uh, return is like here. It's pretty bad return. I don't know what this does. I don't know what this does. I don't know what that does. I don't know what this does. I don't... I don't know what this does. I don't know what this does. I don't know what that does. I don't know what this does. I don't know what that does. I don't know what this does. I don't know what that does. I do know what you do. Low return, semi easy to play. Anyway, oh god, there's four. No. Uh, I'm just gonna put these all right here. The lowest of returns. Uh, but I'm, I don't know how difficult or easy they're to play, but they're all just going right there. They can all they can all just have a I don't know like a token rambu party. Every single one of you guys there. Have fun. Enjoy your party. Eugene! I don't think it's very difficult to play, personally. Um, I think it's like kind of average to play. In terms of it's like I think it's average to play. Return is probably here. I think you're right on that. Barrow the Magnus. The Magnus of Barrows. Uh, semi-easy to play. Return... Dip, this is a wild card deck, as I like to call it. The return can be anywhere from here to here. Um, so I, if, if it was up to me, I would just make this entire row, just just this whole row, just a bunch of Barrow Magnuses. It would just go all the way down. There would just be a linear line of Barrow Magnuses. Because that's just how the deck is. Sometimes you're here doing nothing, and sometimes you're here uh, destroying your opponent, and they just don't even see their three. Throw him in the middle then? Yeah, I, I guess the middle ground. Yeah, I think that would be the best spot for him. Orphis. We have two Orphis, actually. Um, I will just not touch this Orphis. Actually, I'll touch him anyway. Low return, easy to play. And then Hexa Orb is difficult with low, or semi-difficult with low return. Very, very low return, actually. I would say the return's like here, probably, with Leafia. Leafia and Eugene. Yeah, maybe a little better than Eugene. Right there. All right, Zorga. Zorga is on par with Red Zorga, in my opinion. They're both difficult. I'm just gonna put them right beside each other. They're they're best friends. Um, I think Zorga is a little bit more difficult. Um, with a little bit, sorry, Blue Zorga is a little more difficult. So the thing about Zorga Blue is that it's actually a pretty good spot right now, and actually the payoff isn't as hard. You do need to think a little bit harder. So actually, I think that it's more so that Red Zorga can go just a tiny bit, just a tiny bit lower. 
Red Zorga, let me touch you. Um, and then Blue Zorga can be on top of that. Oh my goodness, what? My stuff's bugging out. It's bugging out, guys. Okay, I think I think that is a better representation because Red, I do think, is a little easier to play, but the payoff, um, the payoff is about the same for both of them. They both pretty much have this very special condition. I'm just, I'm not gonna, I'm just not gonna touch this. No, I was trying to put it. Anyway, <laughs> I'll just put him over there. Uh, he can just stay over there. I think that I think it's pretty easy. Their returns like decent, to be honest. It's like here. It's like it's like you know restanding Vanguard here. It's not too bad. And then uh, where did the other guy go? Oh, where PBO go? Uh, PBD I think is semi easy to play, and the return is just in the middle. Uh, I think I think it's like right there. Orange is silly. I exist to be silly. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Uh, I think I think PBO is right here. Uh, I think the returns right in the middle. Uh, it, I think it'll get better though, and I think I think maybe just slightly, maybe like maybe maybe with Leonorn. I think he's with Leonorn because uh, it's not terrible. I do think it's easier to play. Maybe I don't even know. I don't think it's a very hard deck to play. You just kind of do your thing. But there is kind of like a soul. Con He'll be right here. He I think I think that's a good. Greed on average decent return maybe here why is zorga so low no no zorga zorga uh oh the return uh because uh because the, the amount of difficulty is not worth the payoff i think everything is pretty easy to play yeah a lot of rocks i think i think easy to play uh decent return i think i think i think she can go like right here probably there is some setup that you have to kind of think about and and i think and hello welcome in hika welcome in Rocks and high roll, it is. For me, it's like Leonor, and it feels like it should be hard, but in practice, it just hits triggers and opponent dies. Yeah, yeah, I think opponent is pretty, it's pretty sacky. I do think there's a level of setup you have to do, and there are certain decisions you have to make. I think it's a little bit uh, more average in terms of play style, because I, I, I think there is a difference between a good good video player and a bad good video player. Uh, whereas I think Leonor is a little bit more straightforward. You're back. How is everyone? Hi, welcome back. We're good. We're good. We're chilling. So I think it's there. Flagberg. Uh, Fabric is on Mouse Storm in terms of uh, difficulty, but I think the payoff is definitely a lot better. I think Flagberg's like, I think Flagberg's just right here, like just slightly, slightly better, slightly worse with TCM. I don't know, they're kind of on par. I feel like Flagberg kind of it goes well into with TCM actually because of the, the removal. Uh, we have Nirvana, uh, easy to play, payoff is decent. Other Bruce, this is the grade four Bruce. Uh, easier to play, decent return. Sarah Snow. I think this is a semi-difficult deck to play because you have to constantly play around not just what you're doing, but what your opponent's doing. I think it's on Medell's level, and I think the payoff is just a little bit past the middle, just because the grade four scale is pretty, pretty good. Um, I think I think payoff, I think payoff's like right here, probably somewhere. Uh, and it's like semi difficult. I think I think knowing how to play around your opponent's prison is important. And then we have other overward. I think other overward is also really easy with pretty pretty good return as well. I think he's on par here with like all of these decks right here that kind of have a similar thing. Uh, this one's a little harder with good return, and this one's a little easier with good return. Biggest challenge with Mag is not falling asleep. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm not gonna lie. I agree. Out of all the Stakea decks, I don't like playing Magnolia. I have the deck, and I think it's pretty, but I don't have enjoy. <laughs> no enjoy playing it. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> the blaster doc senpai, please, please spare me. <laughs> I, <laughs> I swear I'm innocent. Oh, we had two PBOs. Oh well, you know, you know what they say about one PBO, just put the other one next to it. <laughs> uh MOB difficulty, not very difficult. Payoff is pretty whatever. I think payoff's like here. It'll get better. I think I think it's a little easier to uh, for difficulty and payoff than like greed on and like probably this deck. We could probably put this deck a little bit over here. MOB is easier than youth. Yeah, you're probably right. I don't know about easier than youth, but I definitely think it's on par with youth. It's just draw the blasters and go. It really is just draw the blast. Yeah, you're right. You're right. It's pretty easy. Fair enough. All right. All right. You you win this one. You win this one, infamous. This one you will have. Tama Yura, difficult wise, uh, it's actually pretty set up y. And uh, I think it's a little easier with broken toys now, but so you have to like you have to semi set up. Return is is okay. I think return's there. So not good though? Uh, really? I think it's I think it's okay. Okay, he can join Fulch. She, she can join Fulchstra. I think it's okay. Has good return out with a new dolls. I actually, you know, I faced this deck on Saturday. 
and I, we literally we literally went to deck out i just i just couldn't kill them they just kept reviving their their freaking dolls and and their hand just kept staying decently healthy i was like what is going i just can't kill this person M homie healed like three times and then he just decked out on me it was great and then i won and i was playing archite not to my your blasters oh yeah 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 you're right you're right has good matchups i think i think tomorrow yours is like okay i don't think it's like the greatest thing in the world i just think it's okay um i think the better decks like like jed and flagberg and leticia and overlord and youthberg and magnolia and and archite and bunny girl i i just think those decks outperform it this guy did everything his deck was meant to <laughs> Blasters got massive with the promo that dropped Monday. Well, we did it. Did that drop for us? Do we already have the new promo? Do we have promo? Next step, Punisher aren't seeing as much play. This is true. I do agree that tell me you're a see it dropped Monday. Oh, well, okay. Maybe maybe he can go. Maybe he can go a little to the right. Maybe he can be right here. There he can. He can stay right there. He can have his little his little square here um tamayura i feel like into the best decks definitely struggles but is okay it's an okay deck to take might have a chance of some decent return but chaos chaos has a really high setup uh pretty pretty low return uh difficulty wise it's like okay it's not that difficult to soul charge your pieces it's it's harder than bruce but the payoff is so much. Oh, not Bruce. Sorry, uh, Barrow Magnus. It's harder to set up than Barrow Magnus, but the payoff is worse. Ava, I think, is semi hard to play, and the semi hardness is like okay payoff as well. I think she's kind of just the thing about her is that she's not very hard to play, and her payoff is good. But that's a that's all it is. Like, and, and then, like I said, we aren't like tier ranking them based off like how strong the deck is. It's not like oh, this is a tier zero deck. We're ranking based off the difficulty comparison to how like what what the return with it is. So I think the return is just okay. Um, and the difficulty wise, it's not that difficult, and, the, and you get decent. Re it's just average return. You just keep slapping cards on the board, and you keep setting up. Now Thegria, I don't know why we have three Thegrias, but we'll just pick the the prettiest start. And I declare the dark one as the prettiest start because I just feel like it. So Thegria is semi difficult to play, and the payoff is okay. Uh, I think she's here with with uh, Tamayura. I think Tamayura is slightly better than her. Roroa. Roroa, I think, is semi difficult to play. You do need to set up your tokens correctly as you play through it. There's a lot of like little, a little baby stuff you have to do. Payoffs okay. I think payoffs here uh, for all the work that you do. So I think I think that's a good spot for it. Clarissa, easy deck to play. Payoff is okay. And then we have Ellis Steel. I think difficulty wise, this deck is like semi difficult, and the payoff is definitely not worth it at all. Um, I think she's like, I think she's like here. Oh, she's somewhere floating around here. Uh, she's not like super difficult, but the payoff, regardless, just there just isn't any payoff. Uh, maybe, maybe difficulty wise, she's in the middle. I don't know. I personally, I'm too, I'm too dumb for for oh, steel. The grade, the the grade condition, like the bind condition, confuses the hell out of me. I always get black wing and white wing confused. So to me, the difficulty scale is like here. Like it, it's 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 right here. It's above Zorka, but that's just me. That's a me problem. It's not a deck problem. It, it's it's an outer orange problem. So I think I think we'll just leave it there. Boring as hell to play. Easy payoff is normal. You, know, you just you just get exactly what you return. You put some orders down, put some rear guards on the board. Swing swing, big guard restrict. Payoff is like okay. Payoff is okay. Felty Felty is interesting. I think Felty is a little bit hard to play, and the payoff behind her is not that great. I think she's with Roroa. Now we have Valista. Valista is semi hard to play, and the payoff is all the way over here somewhere. Yeah, she she can join the the triple the triple girl squad over here. Average to play in terms of difficulty, the return is pretty decent. Herminia, I have no idea where's Zen. I'm gonna leave this for Zen. For Tia, for Tia is stupidly easy to play. Return is really good. Uh, for how easy she is to play, this is definitely one of the easiest decks. Um, and you really uh, the only thing I think about is how much you're gonna get denied. Nah, with Zorka, like literally with him. Okay. Is it difficult to play? Is this a difficult deck? Really? Damn. I, w I don't know. I don't play it. Uh, Great three version Kyrie. Same thing as this one. I think. I think they're about the same. And then we have a uh, Great three Nirvana. Uh, no, it doesn't exist. Uh, Great three Bruce. Semi difficult to play. Uh, payoff is pretty good actually. I think the payoff is actually really good on him. 
I think I think for all the work you're doing, you do get a lot of value back. So I think he's here. Oh, it's fine. I believe you. I know you have to constant face down counterblast and all stuff. Uh, grade three Bastion can join the squad of these guys because I, I don't know. A Magnolia grade three version. Um, not very difficult to play. Payoff isn't that great either. I think I think payoff's like okay. I think we'll put it right here. And then uh, grade three Prison can definitely join the squad of I don't know. It's just icky. Bear uh, Buff Saga is pretty easy to play. Payoff's okay. You you do get a bunch of crits and a bunch of stuff for just. I'm tired of this master drill music. It can go away. Anyway. Actually, am I not on a... No, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Uh, anyway, so where was I? Buff Sagra is pretty easy to play in the payoff season. You get a, a board wipe or a front row wipe on top of a crit and just pretty big numbers. So I think for what it does, it's... Uh, I think it's here. Payoff's pretty good. And then uh, Orphus, easy to play. Payoff is really good too. So I think I think he's with Buff Sagra, actually. In turn, and like there, You really don't have to think too hard. You just kind of be face and have a great time. And then I don't know what the... Fuck. Just gonna, I guess I'm putting it there. No, I didn't, I didn't mean to touch it. I forget the way you touch it, it gets stuck there. Okay, we'll put that there. There we go. Okay, awesome, awesome. That is our chart, guys. I agree that you should go up a little bit on difficulty. It's a little bit more combo-based now. That's fair. I, I can agree with that. Now let's do a comparison. Did I spell difficulty wrong? Oh my god, I did. TR list. There we go. All right, now let's go do a comparison. Let's go see where his ended. Oh... Uh... Oh wow, I had the I had the the deck I had this video playing the whole time. Look at that. I was giving him I was giving him nice viewership. What the This is so different from mine! Uh Varroa being here. Uh, 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 <laughs> Nani? Okay, so personally, uh, I yeah, this is probably right. This is right. This is yeah. I don't know about low return. Oh actually no, the return is roll. I do think this deck is a lot more difficult to play. Um, I think that this is a little higher return. Obviously, we saw our list. I think this is accurate. I don't. I don't know about this right here. Just makes me makes me. A what? what is, huh? Why is Malastorm difficult to play? Excuse me. I used to think Michu isn't that hard. He put Kyoka pretty low. I actually think Kyoka is a lot higher. Uh, obviously, I, I think Kyoka is pretty difficult to play. Actually, you can whip so easily if you just don't know what's in your deck. Why is Malastorm one of the hardest decks on your list? What happened? Why is it this hard? I need answers. <laughs> and, then, and then why is Greedon up here? Greedon isn't that hard. Why is Tamayura up here? I just realized Tamayura is here too. What is Graham Grace doing here? You don't, you don't understand the semen? Curly. My boy. My homie. <laughs> you don't... You don't understand the... You don't understand the the semen? You just You just call a board and then you restand it. <laughs> we are gonna have an aqua force lesson. It's not it's not I'm so confused. You play Barrow Magnus! It's it's <laughs> Barrow is so simple. Barrow, Barrow is like tier two on the simple scale. The only thing more simpler than that is Youthberg and Overlord. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it right now. I'll hit 15 soul. Here's my Barrow. Here it goes. <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> Anyway, no, I just thought out of all the decks on the difficulty scale, that is the last deck I thought I would see. 